Hey, this is Phil the Wine. I want to talk to you about Valentine's Day. Yep. Believe it or not, it's coming right up and I wanna fill you in on a little secret. One that may be surprising for those who do the usual song and dance of dinner, drinks, maybe even a weekend getaway at a resort. Well, before you go do all that, I wanna to talk to you about the most popular wine pairings that may not be that good of a pair after all. Let me explain. Ever watch Pretty Woman, the classic 1990 film starring Julia Roberts and Richard Gere? Well, many fans of the movie and wine enthusiasts will probably remember the scene where Richard Gere's character offers Julia Roberts' character a glass of champagne and then tells her to eat a strawberry because it brings out the flavor in the champagne. And while many were already pairing food with wine, this scene immortalized champagne and strawberry pairing, in addition to already being depicted in any and all romantic settings. However, what people may not know is that Richard Gere's line wasn't actually accurate. Well, in theory, you can pair strawberries and champagne, but should you? Does it work with all champagnes? And what about Proseccos and Cavas? And these are the questions that I needed answers to. Okay, so for the answer, in short, yes, you can pair strawberries with champagne, but you may not want to go with the champagne that was used in the movie. So based on other scenes in the movie and based on the wrapper on the bottle, my educated guess is that the champagne in the movie used is Moet Chandon. Now Moet Chandon is a very great champagne, that's no doubt. But the most popular kind of that bottle is a brut style champagne, which is actually very dry. And you might think dry and sweet could match because, you know, opposites attract. But that's not the case here. The sweetness of the strawberry actually brings out the acidity of the very dry champagne because it doesn't have much added sugar to it, at least in the brute style. And unless you like a puckery finish on the palate, this might not be the most pleasant drinking experience. If you want to avoid this on your romantic date night, I recommend going for an extra dry bottle of champagne. Now, ironically, extra dry actually means sweeter in the world of champagne because it has more added sugar, about 12 to 17 grams of sugar per liter. Some extra dry bottles of champagne would include Corbel California Champagne and Piper Heights Psych, which is a French bottle. If you wanna try something different that's not champagne, you can also go for a Prosecco, a sparkling rosé, which are naturally sweeter in nature, in addition to an Asti wine, which is another Italian sparkling wine, but made from Moscato grapes. In terms of cava, since a cava is produced in the same method as a champagne, I would also go for extra dry bottles in this case, or even try some of their sparkling rosés, which have proven to be very good. Cavas and Proseccos may be a great option for you if you're looking to have a little more affordable date night options. So depending on you and your date's preference, you can go for an off-dry, semi-sweet sparkling wine, or you can go for something more naturally sweet like the Asti. The great thing about wine is that there's a variety to please all palates. Now, another popular yet even more polarizing wine pairing amongst wine professionals in the industry and other enthusiasts is wine and chocolate. So why not chocolate? Similar to champagne and strawberries, this pairing is also tied to romantic settings and evenings thanks to mainstream media. But it is just as tricky to pair successfully with wine. And here's why. Unlike strawberries, chocolate has a variety in type, intensity and sweetness and those nuances are important to keep in mind when finding the perfect wine to pair it with whether it be a sparkling or a still wine here are a couple things to keep in mind when looking for that perfect wine to pair your chocolate the first thing is is you want to go for a wine that is sweeter than your chocolate sweeter chocolates or one with a filling like pistachio or cherry will pair better with a sweeter style of champagne like a demi sec you may also be able to get away with an extra dry bottle here, but that is up to your palate. While chocolate with more cocoa and less sugar will have a more bitter taste on the palate and hence a brute style dry champagne will pair well with that. But if you really want that champagne and chocolate pairing, then dark chocolate or bittersweet chocolate truffles are the way to go. In the same vein, you also wanna consider the weight of the chocolate relative to the weight of the wine. So for those lighter chocolates like white chocolate or even a milky chocolate, you'd wanna go for a wine pairing that will be a little brighter in body. The light to medium bodied wines will prove to be a brighter pairing like a Riesling or a Moscato. While for a more intense dark chocolate, you wanna go for a medium to full bodied wine. And this would be your Cabernet Sauvignons, your Sinfandels, and a Merlot. But if you're more of a dessert wine person, then going for a port wine would be a great pairing with your bittersweet chocolate. Now, if you really wanna show your date that you know a thing or two about wine, you could also consider doing like a mini line of pairings. 
with a smaller bottle of wine or buying a couple bottles and doing it that way. You can start off with a lighter wine, a lighter chocolate, and then go for the dark chocolate maybe champagne pairing. I think that would be a great way to explore your palate and figure out what you like or don't like. It's just a fun activity to do with your significant other. I'll show on the screen an example of how you can do this pairing, but the one thing to keep in mind, and this is probably in line with what you've heard before, if you've attended wine tastings in the past, start with the lighter wine and lighter chocolate, and then work your way up to the darker, more intense, full-bodied wines. So to recap, strawberries and champagne are a go, but avoid the brute style of champagne and instead go for a extra dry bottle, a Prosecco, or a sparkling rosé. With chocolate, pairings are more tricky, but as long as you keep in mind light chocolate with light to medium bodied wine pairings and darker bittersweet chocolate with full bodied wines, then you'll be good to go. But don't forget about the port. Those go great with bittersweet chocolate. But if you're not much of a sweets person, champagne actually pairs better with salty. So if you're a potato chip, pretzels, or even popcorn kind of person, then that's a great pairing for you to try out. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found this information useful for your romantic evening during Valentine's Day weekend. If you were surprised by some of this knowledge, I was too, which is why I want to do a video about it. If there are other wine pairings that you want me to talk about or other things that you want to learn when it comes to wine, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Salud!